Yo, how's it going everybody, and happy birthday to King's Isle Entertainment. Uh, yes, just a happy birthday to everybody that works there. I can't believe that it's their birthday, first of all, I didn't even know that. And also, it's been 17 years for the company, so huge round of applause or just, you know, just happy birthday, congratulatory happy birthdays. Uh, we're going to go into the news and stuff like that, just show you everything that's been happening. First things first, there's going to be a maintenance, and this maintenance is actually going to happen, well, technically today, but basically January 5th, which is tomorrow, 3 a.m. Central Time for a couple of hours. Thanks for your patience as we look into things for the new year. So they're doing a little server update and stuff like that. That. So, you know, just uh, be aware of that. Make sure you're getting all your loot. And this is for King's Isle games and websites. They will all be, they will both be under maintenance. So, same thing with Pyro 101. So, yeah, pretty uh, interesting stuff right there. And then over here, whatchamacallit, let me show you the birthday tweet that they made. This was the birthday tweet that they made. It says, Happy 17th birthday at King's Isle. Now, another year, another opportunity for exciting growth for our games and community. What are you looking forward to for Wizard 101 and Pyre 101? Here's what's sure to, um, here's what's too short. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't even talk right now. But yes, I hope everybody is excited for 2022. This is going to be a big year for Wizard 101. We say that all the time, but I think it really is going to be pretty interesting interesting to look into also for pirate 101 pirate 101 could be potentially getting some updates this year as well as they've mentioned so that would be pretty cool to see pirate 101 also get some updates yeah i'm excited for the year i think the year would be um pretty nice you know whatever it is and then there's more news actually and this is for the charity mount so it says, the Charity Hippogriff mount is still available for purchase in the Crown Shop. Now we wanted to extend this festive fellow stay, but don't delay. The Charity Hippogriff mount will only be here for the rest of the day of today. So this is the last day for the Hippogriff, and then it's um, being removed. This is the Charity mount, so whenever you buy this mount, the proceeds will go into these charity organizations, or it's like a fundraiser type of thing. So uh, yeah, if you wanted to just get a cool mount and donate there you go and um whatchamacallit that's was part of the 12 days of the spiral thing but you still got time to buy it if you're watching this like right now but um yes hopefully everybody enjoyed that um charity mount and stuff like that and that pretty much wraps it up for all the news on was on the one's twitter page at least i had one of my viewers mention like a free code like no they're, they're not doing a free code not that i know of it would have been cool if they did do a uh, free code on a birthday that would have been cool um, however i highly doubt and especially going in from this hour it's like 10 o'clock or something like that but yeah um happy birthday to uh king zile and i am grateful for um everybody that works there and you know yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna preach for a little bit trust me it won't be a long video but i'm gonna preach for a little bit i just want to you know say personal thanks just my own thanks to um everybody that works at king's isle and especially for wizard 101 the wizard 101 has been like my pretty much my childhood i've been playing this since like middle school or basically early like early like late elementary school but you know 2008 basically 2008 crazy years or just long time ago man oh my goodness i mean i can barely remember some of the stuff i've done mine i remember when darkmar first came out and celestia and we learned all these new spells and stuff like that it's just insane to me how far you know this game has come I mean, they even changed the whole facial expressions and the face animations and stuff like that. Like, now the face looks completely different now. It's just, like, crazy to think how far this game has come and how much it has impacted me, uh, you know, as a person throughout my childhood. Because I, this is like my childhood. Like, I literally played this. I kept seeing the commercials every time I was watching, like, Cartoon Network or something like that. I would always see some commercials of this game. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to make an account and all that stuff. I actually made this Richard Unicorn Caller account in 2011. But I first started off on my other account, and I that was early as to 2009, I believe. And that was basically, I think I was a fire wizard. Yes, I was a fire wizard. So yeah, Richard Unicorn Crawler used to be a fire wizard. But 
Yeah, I, I primarily played on Richard Unicorn Caller and, um, you know, just enjoyed the game from there. And, you know, I made a lot of friends, made a lot of enemies, of course. And I think I deleted most of the friends. I have some classic friends. Nicole, me and Nicole have been friends for years. Little decade, I would have to say. So, years. There's Chris, there's Iridian Moon, you know, just a lot of people I've met throughout the spiral that have actually found me back through my YouTube channel. So, it's nice seeing some old friends come back and stuff like that. But, Wizard 101 as a whole, it, it's pretty good, you know, it's just nostalgic. Um, I would have to say that my viewpoints towards the games haven't dramatically or drastically changed. I would have to say now that I am 22 years old, um, I would have to say some of my viewpoints for the game um, have definitely changed. But for me personally, as someone that has been playing this game for at least a decade, um, I would have to just thank everybody at King's Isle, um, all the employees, all the game developers and everything, the company. Um, I have to just thank them so much for just keeping this game up and running and, you know, just keeping it in our hearts and memories and stuff like that, honestly. Even though, I, I pay attention, even though I can't agree with 100% of everything that goes on in the spiral, including some of the crown shop bundles, I can't agree with everything, but... Um, I do want to give my thanks to the um, employees, though, for everyone that do work hard for this game that we all know and love and cherish deep in our hearts, um, especially during this crazy pandemic. I know this um, pandemic has been affecting everyone. It's personally ex affecting me personally. Um, you know, it's just crazy to imagine how things have changed and everybody's working from home and I know how hard it is, you know, trying to work from home and stuff like that and trying to get these updates out as soon as possible and try and fix all these bugs and look at all these um, requests to fix or change something. You know, I know how hard it is. Trust me. I, <laughs> I see comments all the time, but you know, you guys are doing awesome. Employees, you you, are, you guys are doing awesome, all right? You know, and I know there will be some really hard days, but at the end of the day, just know that the work that you put into this game will forever hold a place in my heart, personally. That's what I think. All right, we're, we're not going to get too emotional. We're not going to get too emotional, but I do think... All the employees. I can't name all of them, but I can name some of them that I, at least I know a little bit. Matnetic, Renee Wolfton, Jetsters, Ratbeard, especially Ratbeard with the PvP updates. I know not everybody likes some of the PvP updates, and I personally am not a PvP player for Wizard 101, but um, I do appreciate all the hard work that you all put into the game. You know, regardless of if it's a change I personally don't agree on, but... I appreciate the work that you guys put into, you know? And that's all that, I think that's all that matters, you know, at the end of the day is being appreciative of this game. I know that with the one on one have done uh, some things that we all don't like, but, you know, it, it is nice, though, that this game is still allowed us to log in and still kind of access our childhoods and memories, you know? It is just nice to think about because... I think out of all the other games I've played over the years, most of them have been, you know, shut down and stuff like that. But, you know, playing Wizard 101 still, and it still have, a, you know, a massive amount of players. Not as crazy amount of players, but, you know, it's still there. You're still people there, and we've seen some of the realms crowded and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just nice, you know, it's just nice to keep playing this game. Childhood game, you know. And like I said, my viewpoints have changed as I've grown up. But, um, again, I just, I can't say this enough, but I appreciate all the employees that do work hard on this game going into the pandemic and stuff like that, right? I appreciate your work, and I appreciate you guys in general. Thank you guys so much. Now, in order to wrap this video up, I have some new pets to show you. If anybody was interested in a lend, let me know. But I got some pets that I think you guys might find some interest in. Talent-wise, they don't have really good talents, but I will show you. That one's a new pet, but no, what is the other one? Here it is. So this is the New Year's Trent. Shout out to Sean Winterhammer. Um, he gave me or he gave me a lend for this. Um, shout out to them. And what you might call it? This is the New Year's Trent. Um, this is a pretty interesting um Trent. I would have to say pet. 
Um, whatchamacallit, this is the New Year's version. And I believe it's not in the crown shop anymore, so I guess this would technically be a rare type of pet. So, pretty cool. Again, thank you so much, Sean Winterhammer, for that. Thank you so much. And then we got the little hoppers, the holiday hoppers. This comes in from Elizabeth Winterbreeze. Um, she lent me this as well. I think these are hard to get. I'm not sure if these, like, I'm not sure if these pets actually released or not. I don't know how she got them, but, um, yeah, I have them. I think they came in one of the packs or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure, but, um, yes, I also have this pet available. If anybody wanted to get a land or something like that, I also have that pet available. I also have this one. <laughs> this is the Elvis pet. This, <laughs> this pet, I have to say, this is a funny pet. I mean, you know, it's a... <laughs> You can't get enough of the Elvis pet, you know, but anyway, I do have this pet available if you are interested in that And then I have this one the iPal. I got this from a bundle I got in from the um Christmas for my Christmas I got this from the Sky City bundle, but this is a pretty cool pet as well It's actually one of the mobs from Lemuria if you've ever gone through Lemuria yet Let me know what you guys let me know what you guys think about this um about these pets and that pet, but yeah, got some pets if anybody wanted to lend. Pretty cool pets, but that is about it, and that wraps it up. As you can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but those are my baby siblings. They're having a ball. They're having fun without me, so I'm about to stop the video. I'm about to go play with them real quick, but yes, um, happy birthday to Ki and the whole team and stuff like that. You know, just know that. Whatever you guys do, whatever updates, you know, just know that I appreciate you guys for still being a part of my childhood. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Like, I appreciate all y'all. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And, as a bonus, um, I think I'm going to put this castle on the castle tours. Because I wanted some people to get some freebies. I'm too lazy to decorate. I am, I'm a little lazy to decorate, but... I wanted some people to come to my um, house and or castle to at least get some items. Oh, wait, I already got those items. But, you know, just get some freebies. You know, I just wanted to help out somewhere. Again, I'm too lazy to, like, decorate or anything like that. But I just wanted some people to get some stuff. Let's see. The Fantastic Fish Bowl. I don't think I redeemed this one. So when you come to this castle... Oh, I already, I already redeemed everything. But... Daily little gifts, little freebies. I think you got a pet. I got a pet from one of these, actually. But, yep, I will think about that. Or I'm still trying to, you know, decorate a little bit, make it look a little bit not too messy. But, yes, I will let you guys know whenever that's coming. And I'll put my castle on castle tours. So, if you just wanted some free loot or you just wanted to look around and see where I post videos at, there you go. But, again, happy birthday, K.I., have a good one, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.